104.1 KRB, a Cumulus Media Station. Good morning, everyone. We ready? Live from the TFCU Energy Studio. The Rule and Ryan Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. Coming up next, we've got dog treats and booze. You gotta well, love it. <laughs> Kevin said that he'll eat the dog treat, but we'll drink the booze. What's so great about this booze? Why is it hard to find? And how much did I pay for it that I'm not going to give it away? If I drink enough booze, I'll have the dog treats. <laughs> find out for Try Twos after Sabrina Carpenter on the Rule and Ryan Show. Tuesday on the Ruler Grind Show. It could be super weird, it could be super gross. We'll take it to the face, grab a garbage just in case. Just try it. Just try it. Yeah, try it Tuesday. I don't think anybody's going to find anything gross this morning. Well, Mm -hmm. dog treats I'm not a big fan of, so I'm not going (laughs) to... Well, nobody's saying you got to eat the dog Um, treat. My dog will like it. It is dog related, but before we get started, it is also the dog days of summer here on 104.1 KRBE. We're giving away lots of great things in these... Dog Days of Summer. So we have a gift card to Lazy Dog Restaurant and a gift certificate to Canine Resorts Luxury Pet Hotel for your pet. That's awesome. So we'll give that away right out of the box. Call or 10, 833-390-KRBE. That's 833-390-KRBE. Uh, Call or 10, you're going to score that in the Dog Days of Summer. And we welcome Frank from SunMed back to the studio. We had them on, uh, gosh, has it been like a I month, I think it was Frank? June. June 4th. Oh, oh wow. Hey, Frank. It's been a couple months. Hi, Frank. Counting. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Yeah. So Frank and his wife opened up SunMed off uh, Morton R- Ranch Road in Katy. Right. Uh, and you guys decided to open this. Uh, tell us what, it's, what it is, again, for those that didn't hear your, your first visit here and why y'all opened SunMed. Uh, so we're a modern wellness CBD store. Um, our, our brand is SunMed. We're nationwide. It's about 350 of these stores across the U.S. Mm-hmm. Um, and we opened it because we're, we're users of our product. Um, so we used to own a business uh, out in Dallas. Uh, it was a 24-7 um, business that we had, and we were stressed out, you know, couldn't sleep, um, yeah. kind of things like that. So we found CBD, and we tried different CBD until we finally found SunMed. 
Um, and then we were trying to get back to Houston. Um, so we went to a franchise show, saw Sunman was there. Um, so it was a no-brainer for us to, like to oh, use the product. Here. We like it. We like Absolutely. what they do. Now, do yeah. you specialize strictly in CBD, or do you have other products? Um, so we, we we our primary product is CBD hemp-based, mm-hmm. um, but we do have uh, super greens that are good for, um, you know, digestive health. We also have a, a tin blend mushrooms in store that we have, and we also just came out with um, a libido gummy that doesn't have any hemp in it at all. Oh, cool. Um, so, yeah, kind of just oh, all of this is the THC. No, it's not right. People that don't it's know, not going to get you high. The THC part is what makes marijuana marijuana. Right. CBD the, is... So CBD is natural, right? We have that endocannabinoid system in our body, so we naturally produce CBD. We have two cannabinoids. We're just deficient of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so they did a study, right? Mayo Clinics, that were about 50 to 60 milligrams short of CBD every day. Mm. Um, so, yeah, and then so we have CBD broad spectrum that has no detectable THC. So if you're worried about drug testing, things like that, you know, we always recommend And you've broad. helped and Special out. K out for sleeping. Yeah, Kevin, yeah. Last time we were talking, Kev, about... Uh, yeah, Booster and I got the uh, CBD... I just call them Night-Night Gummies. I know they have a real name. Night-Night, <laughs> Night-Night <laughs> Gummies. <laughs> I like that name. But Booster that. knows yeah. exactly what I'm talking about. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. And, and how Night-Night effective Night-Night are they, Kevin? Like, you pop uh, one You know and what's then... great about them is they don't make you feel all groggy like, say, Xanax could. Or they don't... They aren't bad for you like melatonin can be if you have too much of it. Melatonin or, gives me horrible nightmares. Yeah, really? and melatonin you get from a store synthetic, right? Because our body already produces melatonin. Uh-huh. So if you give it synthetic melatonin, it stops to produce it. So, yeah, our sleep gummies, they're CBN dominant. Uh, CBN's a cannabinoid in older hemp plants known for, like, relaxing, calming, uh-huh. things like that. So it gets you to sleep, pushes you to sleep. To um, so we don't have that to try because then we'll all fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have something for dogs as well. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so uh, uh, pets have the same endocannabinoid system in their body as well, so they naturally produce CBD. Um, so, yeah, we have everything from oils that are USD organic, and all of our products, they're all third-party tested. So you've do- even cats. And, and why do you give this? Why would I give this to my dog? Uh, so my dog example, is anxious over a storm or something or yeah, what? Yeah. yeah, so my dog, for example, um, he's... He's, he's deathly afraid of water, so whenever we mm-hmm. bathe him, whenever it storms, um, we give him our calming. So our calming has CBD, five milligrams of CBD. How long so does it take to take an effect? Uh, I'd say about five to ten minutes. So oh, it's good well, for anxiety, but it can also be used to treat pain. Absolutely, yes. We have a mobility as, as well, a different product of ours. That has green lip muscle in it. That's been known good for joints, ligaments, things like that. Well, Kevin said he'd try one of these dog treats and see how it treats him in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I definitely try one. I mean, try I, Tuesday. I yeah, do you have them. something for him? I do, I, do, I do. I have a bunch of them here. Yeah, if you, you want, want the one for anxiety, Kevin? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Well, you want yes. mobility? Yeah. Mobility? If you get slow you there, I know. Easier. Yeah. Well, I, am, I am doing leg day today, and it's harder to get back up you know, once you get down there. All right, oh, so give man. Kevin a mobility. Wow, uh, yeah. looks like Special yeah, no, K is uh, going to try a dog treat. What do you digestive? Oh, digestive um, might be good no, for no, your things are moving. Things are moving well this but morning. Wait, Thank you I for asking. <laughs> wait, let me put the disclaimer out for you, Frank. These are, the you are not here to tell people to, to, eat, to these. eat the human seed, the dog treats. <laughs> Absolutely. Wait, yeah, you yeah. just brought the dog treats in because Kevin made the joke, I'll try them. Are yeah. they actually okay for humans to consume they if they had to? Yeah, absolutely. So if you look on the back of the okay. product, <laughs> yeah. send it over. All this is calming. Which one did we decide on? Calming? The calming one. Okay. Oh, catch, catch. He was trying to catch it like. Dog. Roll his te- uh, treat him like a dog. Yeah, it's like, catch. Kevy. Oh, Special you're doing K? it for real? He, he oh, ate it. it. <laughs> yeah. No, he ate <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Talking and we come back, Frank, uh, when we get back on. When one person wants to know how much do you have to take for that sleep one to get to sleep? How many gummies? For humans? Okay. Yeah, for humans. It's how many gummies? One, one gummy. One gummy an hour before bed. How long does it take? Like a few minutes? Uh, it, yeah, I'd say it's a, given, we, we say recommend an hour before bed. Oh, Because okay. it has to digest. So I'll say so that all one Mod, when you take it, are you instantly sleepy? I love it because it doesn't give you that groggy feeling of like a melatonin. Right. Like when I take a melatonin, the next day I feel so like hungover. But yeah. with that, like I'm up and ready to go. I love it. Yeah, there's no drug. Are we back on the air, Sam? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. We, 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 we can't. We can't control yeah, yeah, yeah. when that goes off. Let's go grab some water. How, how did how it was taste? It? Does it right, taste Kev. like meaty? You have a shiny coat. Meaty? Is there a meat flavor in the dog treat? Maybe we should yeah, give you a steak bite. That would have been yeah, yeah. a steak yeah. bite. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It was real earthy. Real <laughs> earthy. Real earthy. Mm-hmm. Sadly, mm-hmm. this is probably better than some of the food we tried here. Yeah. Probably. Oh, I But remember, that CBD is... Weighted and measured for a small dog, Absolutely. not for a hundred and fifty pound man. Right. right. So that that uh, you just me. I'm one forty nine. I'll take out dinner. Okay. Well, Frank, thanks for bringing the dog treats. Yeah, yeah. No and problem. um, it's and called Sun, Sun Med. Med. It's in Katy. It's at twenty three oh twenty seven Morton Ranch Road. If your pet seems to have anxiety. 
uh, is having trouble sleeping, having trouble going to the doctor, having trouble with water, bath time, storms. That's what Frank said. All these, there's a lot of treats in here. Yeah, allergy, or cat snacks. I see there are cat snacks as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. So sun, uh, sun med for your dogs and your cats. And All for fits. you, get All one fits. for you while you're there. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, my sister-in-law, she had a bunny and she gave it to her bunny to calm me because it was so hyper. So really? anything that has a vertebrae wow. has an endocannabinoid huh. system. Okay. Young that bunnies go nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yes. I had a bunny who would jump up in the air, spin around, and spray. <laughs> All they really? do is poop and scrump. I think uh, Morgan, but I trained it for a litter box. Is doing Morgan, that works on like bunnies with a KRB. Uh, uh-huh. she, she found a guinea pig in her yard. <gasps> oh, she adopted really? it, I believe. Adopted she said, it. And yeah. it. Oh wow! And it made like weird noises, like a. <laughs> she gave it. She gave it CBD as well. <laughs> some, really? Yeah. She did. Wow! It snorted okay. like a pig. Now I asked him real quick. Uh, my dog doesn't really like to bite these things to try and trick them. I try and. Put you know, in food. cheese or something, but uh-huh. you said they have oils too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so pets, uh, we have USD organic oils for pets. So just like the, the products we sell for ourselves, for humans, uh, we sell oils. You for just pets drip as it well. in their mouth. Right. You just put a dropper. It's measured. Put in the food too? Or? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So when the I water? give it to my dog, I, right when we're going to feed him, I just put a, a dropper in it and he eats it right away. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Sun Med in Katie. Thanks, thank you. Frank. Say hi to the fam. Yeah. And to my, uh, to my beautiful wife. Shout yeah. out to you. Uh, <laughs> thank you for everything you do with my kids. Aww. Aww. Have a great day. It's That's sweet. Go give your your dogs those treats. See how they calm them down. Yeah. (laughs) Coming up next, it's Amon's birthday. You know when it's one of our birthdays, we always say, go to the QVC. What Uh is on the QVC? At any moment, when Amon says, go to the QVC, we can buy him the item that's up for grabs. Uh, uh, Under $250. Under $250. I want a KitchenAid mixer. (laughs) You're not getting that. Under $250. (laughs) Also, there was a booze that was in the liquor stores. I had a chance to buy it one time. Amon and I talked about it. And then when I went back to get it, so I was like, oh, let's see how this, it was sold out everywhere. Couldn't find it. I had to buy it online for a hundred purse. So I brought it so we could try it. Woo-woo. And if I like it, I'm hoarding it. (laughs) What is it, blackberry? <laughs> it's Crown Royal Blackberry, so and it the... says to make it with lemonade. So let's huh. try the that. Way to make it. So it's a blackberry lemonade birthday drink. It's almost like a summery drink. It does. Well, but it's still, still feels summer, summer just because kids are back to school. It's yeah. summer until September 21st. It's the dog days of summer. It's the dog yeah. days of summer, and it'll be summer in Houston until, oh. you know, it's not. <laughs> until it's not hot. Uh, we'll try this next on the Rule and Rain Show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. It's KRBE. All right, we have an item here in the studio, continuing on Try It Tuesday, because it's Amon's birthday today. Happy birthday, Amon. Thank you guys Uh, so much. It is very polarized on text. For every good text I'm getting, (laughs) I'm getting a bad text about this item I brought into the studio. Uh, It is called Crown Blackberry. Crown Royal is a booze that's been around forever. They have vanilla. They've got peach. They've got blackberry. They used to have maple. I couldn't find it anywhere. The only thing going for it back in the day was they had a... Cool purple bag. It yeah, the vanilla bag. Like a yes. bag. And you yeah. can put yeah. coins yeah. in right it. Right for oh, rummy like cube. Cool oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. For rummy yes. cube, actually. Yeah, they have uh, cool. Dominoes. Yeah. I was going to say, if you don't want the bag, I will take that. That's why people buy it. a special it. bag, Sam. Look, it's like a different color. Oh, so I don't know. know. That means she's this. keeping it. But let me tell you the polarizing views. On text at 37530, I'll get one text that says, oh my God, I only drink the flavored versions of Crown, but I love anything that goes with lemonade. So definitely interested to see how this goes. Another person says, it tastes like medicine. Medicine, Crown Blackberry. Another person oh. said, I have three bottles of this because I knew it was going to be hard to find since it's so good. Y'all enjoy. The next one. Uh, no. Is Crown, considered, <laughs> is Crown considered like a, a nicer It's a Canadian liqueur? whiskey is what this no. is. I'd it's a it's Canadian like whiskey. Not and a, Crown you know, and Seven with Lime. It's the most famous fine. Yeah. Canadian whiskey. Okay. Comedian um, whiskey? Canadian. Canadian. Oh, I thought I said comedian. Yeah, com- yeah. Comedians yeah. love it. Comedians, but Canadians love it. You can okay. only drink it if you're I, I, don't, I don't know if Canadians love it. I just yes. in America, okay. that's what we're used to. Okay, yeah. The Crown. So uh, when I got when I first saw Crown Blackberry, I was at a liquor store and I was looking for maple. And they were like, yeah, I haven't seen that in years. Turns out maple doesn't exist anymore. I had to go on some website. I don't even know what it was, some liquor website. And I thought I was buying this size bottle. What size is this bottle? It's like, th- I don't know what the size is. I thought I was buying this for 35 bucks. I was buying the tiny, like the one oh. little oh, the flask. <laughs> flask. That mm-hmm. sucks. $35 for the maple. <laughs> and then I saw the Blackberry was there too. How and I was many like, because I had there? gone back for the Blackberry and I couldn't find it anywhere. Girl, we were on the hunt for this. We were. I was checking we liquor were. stores near me. Yes, we me and Mom were looking for the Blackberry. So I found that it and like I had to pay court. like triple what it costs. It's the regular size. It's the regular size. Whatever. Because there's a smaller 
bottle at the Costco oh. liquor store, which is not owned by Costco. It just says liquor store. It's a smaller version of this in vanilla. It was like $17. But this is the normal size, and it was not $17. So we're going to try it without the lemonade? Yeah, so I have neat? both. I have both because on the back of the box, it says the best See? way to try this is with lemonade. So right. we have Simply Lemonade, See, which is the best that kind. That tells me something. Like, if you got to mix five things with... You know, just one thing. Yeah, you're hiding something. Some yeah. people yeah. like to drink it straight. I don't know why people drink Crown straight. Who I'll drinks try, Crown I'll try straight? I'll try it straight right now. I don't, I, okay. I don't want any ice. I do Pass like that my one down. I put it on ice because somebody told us oh. on text when I talked yeah. about this earlier. It's best on ice sure it is. if you're going to drink it by itself. Uh, does anybody else want to try it on ice by itself? Can I do it neat? Oh, yeah. well, not neat, but yeah, I'll well, try, here. try it on ice. This one's on ice okay. by itself. I've not tried that either. Okay. I have three lemonades for I want to try it on its own. I would like to do the lemonade. Okay. Because you want to see what it tastes like on its own, and then you want to try it with lemonade. I need more cups. I need more cups. Well, you right there. Use those little... Do you want ice or no ice? Here, I'll go. do it neat. Okay, here. Hold on. Um, okay, that one's for Kevin. Little tiny pour I'll there. Eric, do you want it with ice or no ice? Uh, no ice. <laughs> okay, here. Then give me that one back because I'll oh, take it with it smells ice. good. So it's crown blackberry see. for Mon's birthday. Let's see how we like Ooh. it. I'll, I'll oh, put this, some this, in the lemonade, too. This reminds me of the cough medicine. My mom would give me that pink bar. Yeah, because right? people are yeah. saying it's like cough medicine. Yeah. Right. I haven't tried it yet. All right, okay, everybody try it. Take a swig. Um, this is blackberry, you know, that's why. Yeah, it's just, I just want to try it with lemonade. This tastes like cough syrup. It's is a little it, cough syrupy. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But oh. I'm trying to be nice Dan's about it because I want to get drunk tonight. The, f- the okay, finish is kind of oh. weird. <laughs> oh, I don't like this Oh, that's all. like a, uh, yeah. a flower. Oh. I eat a flower or yeah. Yeah. perfume. Yeah. Like yeah. I need it with lemonade, Ooh, I think. That is turd. Is not Maybe good. the yeah. lemonade will make it nice. Like, here, put some lemonade I can do lemonade. Oh, wait, here. Yeah, just put some lemonade on top of this one. Festive. Okay, here. Refreshing. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Is there something there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's a hard pass for me. Okay, I'm gonna try lemonade. lemonade. It's good. And I'm a splash of lemonade. It's not bad. Oh like yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Like I a like it better. Fancy cocktail. Oh, that helps it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well hundred percent better. Because you're enjoying the lemonade. But I still get the aftertaste of the medicine. A little bit. Yeah. It still has I like think an if aftertaste you went in the of the medicine. Way that I did without the. Is that? Does basement? the lemonade have real sugar in it? Or is it this fake? Is, this is simply lemonade, so it no. is the good kind. Simply lemonade makes a light version, and it Filter. tastes exactly the same. It's Filtered really good. Filtered water, lemon juice, uh, cane sugar. If oh, you're a well, that's whiskey good. or bourbon drinker, you're not. You're gonna. Oh, hate this. most definitely. I'm not, not. Yeah. and I don't like this. Mm. But if you like fruity drinks, and... I like it. It's refreshing. Yeah. If you like wow. cough syrup, uh, Sam, I am stop! So I'm trying shocked. to take this home. So demure. I need to sound like I like it more. <laughs> no, somebody says that um, I, would I should mix the vanilla and the blackberry together. My gift to vanilla. And exactly. blackberry together. Yeah, I have the vanilla at home, and now I have this. I'll mix them together, I guess, and see Ooh. what that. I'm gonna mix this. One person says like can. Benadryl. I think Benadryl might taste better than this. <laughs> this stuff is. I gotta mix this with something Q-trend. else. How much did you pay for this bottle? I don't want to tell you. It's more than fifty bucks. No, stop. You paid over fifty. It was hard to find yeah. it, guys. It was hard to 70? find. Like I really want to find it. You spent a hundred dollars on this. No, it was seventy-five. Oh, wow. you, got, you got ripped off. That's yeah. why I'm gonna hold on to it and make myself drink it. <laughs> no, don't. You, I will I, not be. Why <laughs> punish yourself twice? You got ripped off of the wallet. Now you're gonna ripped off of the t- taste buds. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if I get ripped off on QVC. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? So Hold between on. QVC and uh, Home Shopping Network, yeah, the, the rule channels. here on the Rule and Ryan show is we will buy you whatever is being advertised at the moment Should as we... long as it's two hundred fifty dollars or less. Today is. I awful. think today we we'll, we'll go to both of them. <laughs> we'll okay. go to both so you can pick out of those two. All right, right. I'm gonna this get like QVC. pink panties like Sam. Oh yeah. <laughs> so here it is. Here are they ready? Where's the drum roll? Choice. Drum roll, drum please. Drum roll, please. Right, hang on. On here QVC comes Live right now, you get a value price of fifty nine dollars and ninety eight cents as a special value. Look at them. They are Revitaline oh. Orthotic oh. Suede Casual yeah. Sneakers. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. With a zipper. Look at it. It's got a zipper on the that side looks, for your swollen cute. ankle. Look at that swollen ankle yes. holding those shoes on. I need those when I'm pregnant again. Um, oh, oh, that's what they look like they're they for. They do. Like you got oh, them cake holes. Oh, yeah. oh, or, 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 or let's see what Ready? HSN has okay. on. Okay. We'll see. It's not going to be the Orthotic Sneaker. The Orthotic Casual Sneaker for ladies. From the Colleen Lopez Collection. Forty nine ninety five. You got the pirate shirt from Seinfeld. Yes. The balloon sleeve. It's, it's, it's a blouse. It's a balloon oh, wow. sleeve blouse with chain detail. That is You know hot. that's cute. I can see a lot of drag queens wearing it's that. Giving wow. very, but like, are you a drag fest, queen? Kev. Because you have to wear that. <laughs> no. Not getting that. This <laughs> looks like. You want the shoes? I rather take the pregnant lady shoes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. The pregnant lady shoes. And they size are more seven, expensive. Seven a mod size. Seven. Look at that. Thank you. Orthotic suede casual sneakers. Revitalize. Yeah. Yeah. 
Would you rather have cash? cash oh, gosh, game. please, cash. I'll just give you 40 bucks. Oh, yeah. thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, do I have 20 bucks on me to make it an even 60? Because oh, the shoes wow. are 60 bucks. Come on. I'll bring you some cash. Hook him right up with the cash. It's 40 bucks. I'm going to see Alien cash. today. This will be nice for the popcorn. Yeah. This will cover a small, probably. Yeah. yeah. A small popcorn. <laughs> I'm not 20. What do you guys could just pay me like some money? I appreciate that, you guys. Seven, eight, eight, nine, Happy birthday. I really appreciate it, guys. Five, Damn. six, wait, one, two, three. I can't count. Um, you have a, deals, deals are bad. You have a Ugg sweater. Two, three, I'm jealous four, of you. Five. I know. Here's I'm going to take it home bucks. and wash it finally for Thank the first time you. in two years. Don't try it, though. Don't try, Don't try it. it. Don't try it? Don't try it. If you have Ugg blankets, Ugg um, anything, sweaters, anything like that, you do not dry it. You hang it because it will get very matted and it will get really, really Thank you for telling me that. I will do that. Put it up in the dryer. I'll put up my clothes line out back. <laughs> no, you could do that. Wait till it's completely dry, and then you can fluff it. Like, really, your blanket that you got us for Christmas, yeah. I hang that. Oh, you can wash that? And then... No, you're supposed to wash it? What? Ew. I'm like, don't get it dirty. I always I don't know. Know wash this thing. You wash it, and then you hang it, and then if it still feels a little, like, stiff, yeah. you put it in the dryer and fluff it. But do not, that. like, full fluff it. You'll make it all matted and gross. Really? So, oh, thanks for Have telling me, Sam. Also, I'm guys, can I, can I get a second to make a speech? Sure. Oh. 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 You oh. have to drink. Like, yeah, do yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. just drink the plain lemonade. Yeah. Yeah. Five yeah. Minutes. Right. Yeah. By the way, I just got you a Venmo you 40. Thank there you. Go. That's going to be great for the movies later. You know, joining this show, like if I would have told middle school Ahmad, who was obsessed with morning radio, he would be on one of the biggest morning shows in the country. I would not believe it. Aww. Like, I'm just so happy what this show has done for me. I've gotten so many opportunities. Um, you guys have trusted me so much. When Sam was gone, you let me run the board. Like, the show is routine for people. And for you guys to trust me with that, I really appreciate it. Aww. Eric has given me so much agency to try new things. And then oh, Special K killing. will help me punch it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then Sam will make sure, like, I'm not, like, going crazy in my head <laughs> and, like, feeling like it sucks. And then Rula and Ryan will just always give me, like, really great advice. And I'm just really grateful Cash. for you guys. Oh, and Dad. <laughs> oh, I'm getting raising today. Yeah. 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 You, get the you see what happens when you give your boys a little bit yeah. of, like, yeah. love with her. Kevin cries, too. We go out and he drinks and yeah. cries. Is this a thing in the gay us? community, yeah. Kevin? I don't know. Yeah. Give us a drink. We love you so much. <laughs> oh, I just love you guys. We love you, so much. Thank oh. you so and much. Listen, from our, look, from our perspective too, you know, we've had a lot of people come through our nest here, and then they fly, and they fly free to go onto their own things. We've met so many people, and you know, for those that don't know the history of the Ruler Ryan Show with Ahmad's relationship, we met Ahmad really in COVID mm -hmm. when we all yeah. had to go home and broadcast from the house. Ahmad was here with Sam and Kevin, he stepped up in the different room, Helping and out. we mm -hmm. never saw him. He was just a block on our Zoom screen with no camera. He's just okay. Yeah. Camera, so we didn't I even didn't know have a camera like. in and, there. And I think I probably only met Ahmad a couple of times. And maybe if I did it, like when we do appearances out on the street somewhere, like mm -hmm. today, I'll, tomorrow I'll be at Raising Canes. Yes. There will be a, a squad team with me, right? I would be the team. guy handing out t-shirts. Yeah, and so Ahmad mm -hmm. was with us there. And I so remember I remember when we started, you know, everything was so crazy in COVID. And we're like, okay, we have to broadcast from the house. We've never done this. I mean, I was sitting on a cushion on my floor with a laptop. Yeah. And I, I remember thinking, like, I saw Ahmad's box there in the Zoom screen. I was like, oh, wait, who's Ahmad? Oh, yeah, is he from promotions? Oh, okay. Well, what's he doing there? And so. Yeah, because Kevin Ahmad, was trying to do everything behind the scenes. Yeah, Ahmad like, was help? just a box in the Zoom for a very long time. Because for 17, almost 18 months, we broadcast from our house. And he didn't have a camera to be first to see him. He just was doing all the essential stuff behind the scenes. And then, you know, obviously we came back to the studios. And Ahmad's been in our uh, nope, studio. He's like and, my right-hand person that yeah. uh, I trust him. I'll say, hey, I need this, this, this. And he'll do it. And he'll have great ideas. And, I uh, really think Isn't it amazing that. how... When people come through, you mentioned that so many people have come through, and you can usually tell who's got it and who doesn't. And I think we... Well, it's all about perseverance Pretty and, much and tell right off the bat that you had it. I mean, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm trying to like There were some, there were some flubs the in, in the, the beginning. Goods. We're like, oh, no, I don't know about this guy, no. Yeah. But he... he you, I always said last year you got the MVP of the show because what you did last year from... Where you started, yeah, mm -hmm. it's incredible. The I came growth. a long way. I keep waiting for somebody in, in Houston to try and steal you, like other radio shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because once but, once we train you, yeah. once we train you, get all of our knowledge wants to get them. their hooks in them. Like, okay, tell us what you learn. Which I would be happy. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to lose you ever, but 
I, I want everybody to make money. Well, people right. think he's leaving now. Like, text messages are like, wait, no, is leaving. he leaving? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not leaving. No, no, no. no he's leaving. It's his birthday, and he was Goodbye. It's a mod's birthday. Yeah, you got to have a speech. what is your Instagram so you can get the My Instagram follow. is at Space City Pretty, and I will be making a very sentimental post, because it's also Mark's eight years in Houston, and so coming in a city where I knew no one. Wait, you moved mm-hmm. here on your birthday? Yeah. Oh, how fun. Yeah, oh, for moving. Did you yeah. move from Fort, Fort Hood? Fort Hood, yeah. Uh, Which I is came now here. Fort Cavazos. Fort Cavazos. Back then it was Fort Hood when you were yeah. there. Right. And, I and came you came here for, for school or what? Yeah, for UH. Okay. I toured the campus. I fell in love with it. And I never thought I would have been where I'm at. Today. And when you were a kid, you really wanted to do morning radio. I was upset. Uh, Eric's to... friend, Dave Ryan, uh-huh. I used to listen to his show all the time, which is so random to listen you to his show. Him last, in introduced Minneapolis. You last year I, yeah, to he him. introduced him to me. That was a cool full circle moment. I just... But Dave Ryan's in Minneapolis. How'd you hook on to Dave? Yeah. So he was at the front of the app, and I was just the looking for a app morning show. Oh. Yeah. And, just started oh, and I just started listening, and I fell in love with his bits, and it's just, yeah, I love radio. You got the bug. Yeah. And here's the thing about our show, because we were talking about all the people that we've met through the the years and the doors. To Eric's point, it is about breeding somebody to come up and learn on their own because what you're learning here is something astronomical in other cities that they wouldn't know. And I'm not saying that like condescendingly like, oh my God, or conceited. I'm just saying the way this machine works at KRBE Mm -hmm. is so revered by other radio stations in other towns that just that you have the KRBE call letters and the Rule and Ryan mm-hmm. show umbrella on you, it makes you attractive to other people because we've gone to those radio conventions Yeah, I was year. about to say, you might not toot your own horn, but, like, you guys are, like, rock stars at that radio <laughs> boot camp. <laughs> like, people oh, are I love very them. excited to, yeah. to meet, like, people connect with Eric all the time and they're asking Eric, hey, we need this person, this person, this person, do you know anybody? And they hope that Eric says, well, we've got somebody in our show that needs to fly now, so are you interested in this person? Although I did do it once and, uh, you just by there, Christina. Yep. I'm just talking Four to you. Times. I used to my podcast. Oh. Oh. I, 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 I got on the, my friend's show, the Woody Show in L.A., and yeah. they did not bond well together. <laughs> He's like, thanks a lot, Eric. So but I love Christina, and I saw her last week at this boot camp. So. Yeah, she was wearing a sash that yeah. said, <laughs> Hire need me. work. Well, because uh, she needs to stay in California because she got her. Um, she'd be a therapist. No, she, she got not. her therapist counsel. Yeah, she was wearing a sash. She's it wearing was a, a sash. birthday sash. But I think it said "Hire me, please" or something like that. No, because no, she's, it said "Look, it said need need work." Need work. Yeah, she's looking for California looking for a job. work. Looking for a job because yeah. she wore it down the street in San Diego. I'm like, you shouldn't be wearing that. Oh, sash. oh baby, <laughs> you think you're a prostitute? Yeah, she was wearing the sash. <laughs> she's like, she I can't take it off. I put so many pins in it. Yeah, she couldn't so, take it off. Who are you, Christina? <laughs> Yeah, oh, she's gonna hear yeah. this tomorrow. Oh, man. That's so fun. Well, Mon, happy yeah. birthday! Thank you guys so uh, much. Hey, buddy. Thank Enjoy you guys. your shoes, Thank your you. orthotic pregnancy shoes. <laughs> Actually, you're not getting those. No, you're getting I the got cash. the cash. I'm going to see Alien. We have HSN two, and that is a power washer. Oh, so we don't, don't have a house to power wash yet. Too late. You give the I can start money a business. Could. You could. Then then you buy a car. I, I know. I need to work on that. Ooh, I'm dizzy from this Blackberry <laughs> no, cough syrup. No, baby, why do you think dizzy. I was crying on the air? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that's sweet. Okay, coming up next. Um, chicken. I, oh, yes. yeah, chicken here. Yeah, we're, waiting, we're waiting for the surprise. We not so, like 30. Su- so much a surprise. Oh, chicken lunch. Uh, yeah. Okay, you know, no, coming up next in Scoop, i got to cover this. Michael Keaton, who played Batman, who is Birdman, who's Beetlejuice, he's making the rounds for the new Beetlejuice. And the thing he said about how women get paid in Hollywood, oh. Uh-oh. 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 Beetlejuice is going to get canceled? Uh-oh. 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 We'll find out next Uh-oh. on The Rule and Ryan Show. Celebrity Scoop. 104.1 KRBE. It is brought to you by Taqueria Randas. Don't forget, it's the dog days of summer. Dog days of summer, we've been giving away great things. We've got double dose of post. We've got so many experiences happening at KRBE.com. You can uh, hear read all about it. But let me just talk about double dose of post real quick because that's starting on Friday at 9 a.m. And that means between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. when you hear two Post Malone songs that either he's singing or he's featured on back to back, when the second song starts, you start calling us at our new request line number, which is 833-390-KRBE. And if you're caller 104, you're going to score tickets to one of his two shows because he's going back to back in the Woodlands. 
Friends, Post Malone, Double Dose of Post, starting nice. on Friday. Dog Days of Summer, you should be listening for your chance to win a gift card to Lazy Dog Restaurant uh, and Bar, and a gift certificate to Canine Resorts Luxury Pet Hotel throughout the day. We already did that this morning on our show. Sam, and, has Sam you have it coming up. I do, 1045. So if you missed it with the Roland Ryan Show, I have your chance at 1045. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, literally. So, Beetlejuice. Set an alarm. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Third Beetlejuice. time will Beetlejuice appear. Is it five or three? I don't. I never saw the movie. It was three Beetlejuice. Three times to make him appear. Yes, okay. and the whole the whole point Beetlejuice. Is that, are they calling it two point oh or what are they calling it? Just Beetlejuice. It's just Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. They're calling it two names. That's this the time. name of the movie, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh, so you say it twice because it's the second one. Yeah. So the original Beetlejuice came out like in the late 80s. Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin starred as a married couple, no kids yet, lived in this farmhouse and I think, I don't know, some like, northeast They got like, killed in, a, in an accident. In a fluke accident with this dog. This dog was in their way. And they swerve the car to avoid hitting the dog. So they're trying to scare the. People. And they end up on the plank of this little bridge, and the dog is on the plank. And they're like, "Don't move!" And when the dog jumped off of the plank, it dropped their car into the water, and they died. But you don't understand that when you're first watching Beetlejuice because they don't show you that they died. They're just the next scene is they're walking in and they feel soaking wet to their house, and like this is so weird. And then they're like. Why does everything look different? And they try to go outside, and it was like this weird sand monster outside. Like, the outside was not what they could see. They don't see. realize that they're dead at first. They're in, like, purgatory or something. Mm. So they have to, they meet these dead people. They give them this book about, here's your, your guidebook to the other world or whatever. And so they're dead now, and they don't know how they're stuck. And this family buys the house that they lived in. It gets sold, and Winona Ryder's family, which is Catherine um, well, Catherine O'Hara, O'Hara is the mom. And the guy, the principal from Ferris Bueller's Day Off was the dad. Yeah, being a pedophile. Creepo. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Well, that's the mom and dad, and then Winona Ryder's the teen girl, and she can see the ghosts. And so they're trying to get the family out of the house, where usually if you were a, a homeowner who had a haunted house, you're trying to get the ghosts out of the house. The ghosts are trying to get the people out of the house. So they resurrected this bad guy from the underworld named Beetlejuice, and he's really going to spook them. Which is Michael Keaton, right? And Michael Keaton is Beetlejuice. And so the famous suit that people have been wearing for years at Halloween is the black and white striped suit. He's got the crazy white hair. The makeup is a white uh, face, and he's got, like, you know, blacked the eyes, eyes are all blacked out. And so that's his famous character. Now, he's gotten paid handsomely for all the different roles over his years, and now that he's promoting Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice in GQ magazine. They brought up um, when Batgirl was canceled by Warner Brothers last year, even though it was nearly finished. Now, I don't follow all of it. See, of I that, know a lot about this but movie. Who was Batgirl supposed to be? Who was starring uh, as Batgirl? She was a woman of color. I can't remember who the actress was. Uh, he had a heavy, uh, like a big part in it. Like He, he was re- playing Batman again. He played Batman in this movie. It was completely filmed, and they just deemed that it was terrible, and they thought that if they took the loss on it, the I insurance. It was, was it terrible? I thought they just said we want to get the loss. Yeah. For insurance the insurance reasons. coverage. Because well, they did that why? for another Leslie movie Grace. Too. Leslie Grace. Was supposed to be Batgirl. Yes. Okay, so Michael Keaton. And then the was... one guy, uh, Frazier, was the bad guy. Brandon, Kelsey Grammer? Brandon Frazier. Brandon Frazier. Oh, Brandon Frazier. Frazier. Brandon Frazier. Yeah, Brandon Frazier. 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 He was hot off the whale. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. He signed up for this, the bad guy. And, and who was the villain? He was. He was. No, but what's the villain's name? I, don't, I can't remember. Oh, okay. I don't I remember he was the bad guy. So in the GQ interview, um, he does say, uh, you know, they were asked if he was disappointed that Batgirl got scrapped. And his reaction was, no, I didn't care one way or another. It was a big, fun, nice check. <laughs> yeah. He got paid no matter what. And, That's um, true. You know, he doesn't really... At first, you know, when you read the article, I, I was under the impression that he was saying he didn't care he got paid more than Batgirl, which I'm sure he probably was getting paid more than well, Batgirl. he was the big name on that sure. film. But it's always like, you know, that whole thing that we're so aware of now is the differential in payment between men and women in Hollywood. But if you're Michael Keaton and you are not the n- title character of the show, but the title character of the show is an unknown... Obviously, Michael Keaton is going to get more money mm-hmm. because he is an Academy Award nominee, which so sadly, guys, do you remember when he thought he was going to win for Birdman? And he yeah, had that he had speech, his in, his speech hand, in his hand mm-hmm. and he put it back in his pocket when they That's didn't sad. call his name. Who beat him? And I can't remember who beat him. Who beat him? I don't remember. I got to look it up right now. Hold on. It's going to drive me crazy. Who beat Michael Keaton for Birdman? Because, oh, my God, if you go back to the Oscars of that year, he is in the front row. He'd won everything. He'd won the Golden Globe. He'd won the wow. um, um, the SAG Award. I mean, Probably it was like a shoe-in. Same thing with Glenn Close when she was a shoe-in and she was wearing the gold gown. And then uh, what's her name from the crown one for the favor? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I see her face. Coleman. With the big, with the Olivia Coleman. Teeth. Olivia yeah. Coleman wins, mm-hmm. and and she's just standing there like. How do I do this? 
I don't know what's but happening. But here's the thing I'm with Michael Keaton. Here. Michael Keaton had, at one point, he did the first two Batman movies, and then he passed on the third one. He did not like the direction they were going in. And then his career kind of didn't do anything for a long time. Well, he was like the, the other guys that we talked about the, uh, last week with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Mm-hmm. Remember, he was like the sergeant? The, yeah. And he would, every line would be a TLC song. <laughs> it's like, remember? That's <laughs> another TLC reference. Yeah. Gosh, goes, that's such well, a What are you talking about? Movie. But we're like, what's guys. Michael Keaton doing in this? Like, yeah. He was a yeah. nobody again, and then he got the Birdman movie. Yeah, Birdman. That brought, brought really back. relaunched Eddie, Eddie Redmayne, by the way, won for playing Stephen Hawking. Oh, well, he did deserve it. And he he did was do a great amazing job. in that um, role. And also for, and he, but he does say in the GQ article um, that he is very proud of the time he served as Batman, and he thinks that Tim Burton deserves more credit for taking a chance on him because he wasn't like some big action star. Uh, he said, I'm nothing but uh, but respectful and grateful, no, 100%. Did not want I like to prove everybody wrong. It's fun for me. And you know what? He was, if you, I think The Flash is still on Netflix right now. It's a fun movie to watch. And Michael Keaton has a huge part in that movie as Batman. Yes. First, first time I ever saw Michael cool. Keaton, he it's played really a man who was the mom, Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom. I saw this movie after school on Channel 13, and it was called Mr. Mom, where, you know, this is in the 80s where women were getting jobs, and it was not normal at all to not be a stay-at-home mom. He was unemployed. And he got laid off from his car factory job, and the mom says, well, I have a degree in advertising. I can go to work. And it's so crazy because then this guy that was on Roseanne for many years. He just died. The bad boss. Martin Mull. He just Martin Mull is his name. Oh, yeah. And he plays her boss. And there's a scene in the movie. And as a child, it goes over your head, right? Because I remember thinking, like, why is this so weird? She has to go on a business trip with her boss, Martin Mull. And he gets into her hotel room somehow while she's in the bath. And he's and that, drunk. That would not happen. I mean, how would that even happen? Mm. I mean, and it so, would happen, but. But I'm saying, like, he got in without her permission. Like, he got in the door. He came on And he has, like, two glasses of alcohol, like champagne or something. And the phone rings, and it's Mr. Mom, Mr. Keaton, or Michael Keaton. And he goes, hello, what are you doing? He goes, what? She's in the tub. What do you need? And he was like, what? And I remember he got so mad, but I was a child. I didn't understand, like, I don't understand what's happening. Like, I I remember having the memory of not understanding... Well, why is he whispering because that she's the guy in the tub? called for his wife, and another man answers the phone and says, "My, your wife's I in the tub. I get it. I get it now as an adult, but I was a kid, and it went <laughs> no. over my head. Like, I didn't understand. Why is the dad so mad that she's taking a bath? Isn't that so funny how we watch things when we're children, yeah, and it goes over your head? High, I'm just like, oh, this guy's just watching this girl swim. Same. Until I met yeah. Ryan Chase, and he yeah. ruined me. Uh, <laughs> I told you what he was doing. Yeah, thanks for ruining that for me. I didn't need that, right. to know that as a child. Oh. Thanks, Sam. I was Run right over Sam. Sam. Oh, She's done with us. <laughs> Oops, okay. That's enough. I'm Sam's trying sorry. to say move on. I was, but I was Go get your whoopee. No, whoopee. Yeah, whoopee. Oh, yeah. 220, 221, whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even play your news at this that's point. That's okay. Ba, that's ba, ba, okay. Ba, ba, ba. What's going Here on in town? Uh, the parents of the accused gunman in a 2018 Santa Fe school shooting were found not liable in a civil case by a Galveston County uh, jury yesterday. That was the coming trial. down live on the news for yeah. all 24 counts. The trial had taken six years to come to fruition. Last Thursday, a psychiatrist said the shooter suffers from persistent psychosis and a type of schizo. Uh, schizophrenia uh, disorder, uh, heavily influenced by bipolar disorder. The Santa Fe shooter has repeatedly been found mentally unfit to stand trial in a criminal um, in a criminal case. What I didn't understand though, Ryan, is what does that mean? All those millions of dollars they were reading off. What does that mean? Because y'all, when they did the the charges yesterday, and they have to read every single charge, it's twenty four of them for every single victim's name, and they have like a one million, one million, six million. What's weird? Two million, is- two million, four million, twelve million, twelve. And like, wh- yeah. wh- where do these numbers mean? I, I need. D- deeper Although dive on the that. parents weren't found liable, they did find the uh, ammunition manufacturer liable. 20% liable. But yeah. I thought it was the gun store, not the manufacturer of the bullets. Yeah, it was lucky. So that's what I was saying. If it's the gun forget. store and 80% fault is on the, the student that killed them. Yeah. And 20% fault is on the gun store. So, I mean, the number that came up felt like it was $60 million plus dollars. Where does that money come from? I don't know what that means. Like, I need an explanation of what ha- what does this mean for the Santa Fe families that have put so much into this trial and lived this every day since their children died? I don't know what that means. So hopefully we can get more clarity on that as the day goes yeah. on. Because it was a very emotional day for a lot of families in our listening area who were, con- um, you know, connected to anybody in Santa Fe. Do Remember when we did the road show? Uh, oh yeah, and their choir right came and sang, and then the, and then the, one of the students that survived that shooting came into our show. Yeah. to talk about four years later what it was like because those kids she was supposed to she had graduated and then there was like an anniversary of some sort it's of been a graduation, six years now, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was 2018. It, this May will be 20. Will be six years. 
Because it's 2024 now. No, it, it happened in oh 2018. Oh, my God. Oh, it's already, oh, it's already it's August. It's already God. happened. August, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was thinking school year just started. Okay, yeah, you're right. It'll be, It'll be seven, seven years May. at the next graduation. Correct, correct, correct. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. And God bless all those families that are struggling because the struggle is not over yet. Now, mm-hmm. coming up next, if you missed what happened on Revenge, we have got that coming up. And a little birthday surprise uh, brunch. Think, Raising Cane's. They're already here. I can smell yeah, it. Yeah, we had some lemonade and some fun drinks. Now we're going to have some fun food, food. Uh, for Ahmad's birthday next on The Rule and Rain Show.